What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today I thought I would do kind of a fun video. Today I wanted to go over five guns that you don't see every day. Over the years of reviewing, I have collected a variety of extremely rare and odd firearms, and these are just five of my favorite. We plan on doing future lists with more of these as well. Since I have about 20 of these, I could make a whole bunch of lists if you want, so let me know in the comment section below. That being said, number five here, the Korth NXS8. Now I got the Korth NXS8 partially because it looks super cool as you can see in the footage below, but partially because it's supposed to be the best revolver in the world or at least one of them. Now I know there's a few candidates, but this one is right up there. Korth is produced or at least distributed by Nighthawk and it has a hefty price tag, believe me, of around five to $7,000 depending on which one you get. But what do you get with the Korth and why is it so rare? Well, first off, you get the world's finest build quality. You will not see a fit finish on a revolver better than this anywhere. The second thing you get is space age features. They have the highest capacity of any 357 Magnum I've seen. Now you can get some eight shot 357s, but this is certainly a good one and it is one of the reasons why I chose it. Eight shots of 357 can pretty much take care of anything that you want. It also has one of the best, if not the best revolver trigger that I've ever fired. And it's probably one of the most accurate firearms that I've ever touched. Semi-automatic pistol revolver, doesn't matter. It's extremely accurate. It comes with a ventilated barrel, a big ass shroud that makes it look very cool, and it's also optics ready. So if you've ever wanted a Trijicon RMR on your revolver for no reason other than it looks cool and it looks sci-fi awesome, well, you can do that. It's cut for moon clips if you want to reload fast. Double single action trigger, obviously with a revolver and a cold hammer forged barrel, making it probably the highest quality I was gonna say six gun, but it's actually an eight gun that you can get on the market. So if you ever get a hold of one of these, I think it's gonna be worth it. And if you ever get a chance to shoot one, don't turn it down. In at number four, we have the HK P7 PSP. A little bit more German engineering for you, except in a different direction. Today we're gonna be talking about the squeeze cocker pistol. Hans Gruber's gun from Die Hard, and I've wanted it ever since, and I finally actually got to shoot one last week. Extremely rare, even for a gun guy like me. I never actually got to shoot one or even see one in real life, and now we have one. And we have one thanks to GetInterWin.com. We partnered with them again to make it this month's giveaway gun. So if you would like a P7, all you have to do is check the description below, click the link, pick up a limited edition collectible, and you're automatically entered to win. Today is the last day that you can enter, so if you're seeing this video, you gotta do it now or you're out of luck. That day is February 28th, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Now, the HK P7 is one of the most unique pistols on the market and certainly one of the coolest. With the squeeze cocker design and the gas delayed system, it's very unique, but its cool looks and sleek overall appearance makes it the gun of every bad guy you've ever seen. And it reminds me so much of a Bond villain gun, which is why I've always wanted it. Very sleek, very sophisticated, kind of like an upgraded wall their PPK. German engineering at its finest and HK at its most unique. We have a magazine release at the butt of the gun there, single stack magazine for the generation one, which this is. We've got some cool iron sights and a eight round capacity. Very unique gun, very cool, very low bore axis, and just a sweet shooter. While it would look amazing hanging up on your wall, the price tag hanging right below it doesn't look so good. The average price on these is like three to $5,000. In at number three, the JP Enterprises JP5. The JP5 is, I wouldn't say even arguably, probably the best or the ultimate pistol caliber carbine. The JP5 takes all the best things from the AR, all the best things from the MP5, one of the best competition oriented firearms companies in the world and they put it all together with amazing craftsmanship and engineering and they make the lightest recoiling fastest pistol caliber carbine you'll ever shoot. The problem is because it's so niche, because it's so expensive and high performing and from a smaller company, most people will never even get to see one. Now I actually have this in a rifle and that's my PCC gun and I also have it in a pistol. Thanks for JP sending it for review. We haven't had a video out on it yet but you'll see it really soon. The pistol version is awesome. 
system. It's really cool to suppress simply because of its roller delayed system. It takes the same system from the MP5 that has such low recoil and such high reliability and they add a little bit to it allowing you to subtract or add weights and springs to dial it into your specific competition ammo or the feel that you want. On top of that you get the MP5 reliability and recoil but you don't have to worry about the MP5 reload or the shitty trigger because you can use AR-15 accessories in an AR-15 platform, all those amazing ergonomics that you're used to in one little package. Certainly one of my favorite guns of all time and you almost never see one so I wanted to highlight it here. In at number two, the John Wick Pit Viper from Terran Tactical. Now, the Pit Viper, a lot of you have seen in movies, a lot of you have seen in TV, but I doubt very many of you have actually seen it in real life, and I actually got to put my hands on one. Now, I've never owned one, we did give one away uh, last year, and the Terran Tactical Pit Viper is certainly one of the coolest guns that I've ever shot. Now, it has some controversy because some people like it and some people don't. Some people think it's overpriced, some people don't. I'm a little bit in the middle, it is certainly expensive, but the proof is in the pudding and it's one of, if not the fastest gun I've ever shot on the channel. The splits on that were absolutely insane. My buddy Nick was shooting it so fast it was hard to even see. He even competed in a two gun competition with it, which is pretty cool. The Pit Viper is a comped five inch 2011 pistol, which is a double stack 1911, all done up by Terran Tactical. It has probably one of the lightest triggers that I've ever had in a gun at sub two pounds. The reset's extraordinary and the looks are incredible. I would say the only downside to the Pit Viper is that it isn't optics ready yet. I'm assuming they're gonna make one at some point, but if you want optics ready, you can always get the Sand Viper, which is its baby brother, which is the optics ready version, but the Pit Viper is cooler because Keanu Reeves. Now there won't be any honorable mentions for this video, just simply because I wanna do a couple more of these, and I have a lot of other really rare guns. We just kinda of wanted to put a good collection of everything into this video, so if you like this, you'll love the next ones. That being said, let's get right into it with number one, the Winchester 1873. one of the pride and joys of my collection. To make it even more rare, this is actually the 1873 carbine, which is the 16 inch version. The more common ones are the 20 inch versions and most people use those because you get more capacity. Where I already have a bunch of 20 inch lever guns, so I wanted a short compact one, so I waited for years to be able to find one of these. They're a very unique gun. First off, unlike the Colt Single Action, this gun kind of actually won the West. Now the Colt Single Action is one of my favorite guns too, but at the end of the day, a rifle is always going to be better. These are super slick. They're still really used in cowboy action competition because the lever is one of the slickest, if not the slickest actions on the market. You can side load the gun, which is really cool. They come case hardened, which looks neat, and they do have some pretty cool walnut furniture. Now, most lever guns don't eject out of the top, but the 1873 does. Came with buckhorn sights and an Super cool look. Mine actually is in 357 Magnum, so I can shoot 38s all day and have a great time. Now, I don't shoot this a whole lot, but I generally just show it off just because I love this gun so much, and I think it's one of the most beautiful firearms ever made. Overall, I think the 16 inch is one of the rarest variants just simply because everybody that comes to my house can't believe I have one and they've never seen one before. So I really love this gun and I like showing it off, so that's why I chose it at number one. I do want to mention one more time if you're interested in that giveaway for the HK P7. All you have to do is go to the link in the description below and sign up before midnight tonight. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out our Oklahoma shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.